Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning. My name is Johnny, and I am one of the pastors here at Calvary. Psalm 88 is perhaps the saddest psalm in the book of Psalms. We could consider Psalm 88, psalm 88 a sad, sad, a very sad song. The writer communicates a deep depression and misery, and is pretty much uh, at death's door. What does he do? Desperately, he cries out to the Lord, Lord, you're my last chance, my last hope. I've got nowhere else to turn. The psalm describes the deepest sense of abandonment, hopelessness, and the deepest darkness. He was in a dark place. Yes, darkness had become his old friend, like the song says. Yet in the midst of the situation, he turns to God knowing that God is the only one that he can turn to. You know, life has shown us, some, some of us, that experiencing darkness also has its place in the life of faith. I mean, as you well know, life doesn't end always with a happy ending. A few short years ago, I suffered a stroke. Talk about being out of it. Matter of fact, I was so out of it, I couldn't even cry out to the Lord. But I thank God that others did. In the years since, God came through, and He has come through in several ways. I learned how my next breath is dependent on Him. I learned the value of friends, and I learned the value of family. I learned that Jesus wasn't quite through with me. The fact is, the writer of Psalm 88 didn't have the hope that you and I have been gifted with. In 1 Peter chapter 5, the apostle tells us to cast our burdens, our cares, and our deepest troubles on Jesus because he cares for us. Now, as you go through your day, trust that Jesus is walking with you. Know he promises never to leave you, to never forsake you, or abandon you. He is someone you can trust completely, depend on entirely, and believe in wholeheartedly. I'm going to end uh, this morning devotion with a part of my morning prayer. Lord, you are the king of the everlasting kingdom. You are the high and omnipotent God. You are the all-glorious one. This is how it is and how it always will be. Calvary, love you. You have a great day, and I'll see you Sunday.